Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how we can clone any website using command line in just like under 5 minutes. Now suppose that's my website that is hosted on the server now and I want to copy the whole content of this website. You can see right over here. And like the whole pages of this website and that's the one page you can see right over here. And there are like multiple pages if I just click on courses so there is a page for courses you can see right over here there is the page for exams as well and there is the page for blog you can see right over here okay so this is the page for the blog whenever i'll click on blog you can see that it will direct me to like the new url like forward slash blog you can see right over here so if i just go to the courses so for every page the url is different so you see that this website has multiple pages so I want to copy the everything it means the images like this image the tags and everything I want to copy from this website onto my local host so I can host that whole content or I can change something in my HTML code and then publish that website in like the other host with another domain make sure you don't misuse this trick okay so now how we can copy the whole website data first of all you need to open up the terminal or like cmd so i'll just simply open up my cmd you can see right over here okay now i need to just navigate this thing to my desktop i'll say cd desktop okay so now i am inside of my desktop you can see right over here Alright, so the first thing you need to do is like download the wget software into your system. For that you just need to type on Google like wget for Windows and this is the link that you need to open like GNU wget 1.21.4 for Windows. So I'll just open up this link and depending on your system, whether your system is like x86 or x64, you need to download the latest exe file. So I'll just click on this exe file and my exe file is just downloaded, okay? You just need to locate it into your folder. So here's my file. You just need to copy this file, go to your local disk C and then what you need to do is you need to just navigate to Windows and System32. Here it is. And you just need to paste your file here. I'll just click on Control v it will just replace the file in the destination because I already did it, okay? So I'll just simply skip for now because I already pasted this thing. Now I'll just go back to my CMD once again. So now if I just check wget in my uh, system, so it will like say something like that, missing URL and usage and everything. So now what I need to do, I need to give this command. Okay, this is the important command to clone the website. So I'll say wget, we're using wget and then hyphen hyphen mirror, then hyphen hyphen convert dash links, then hyphen hyphen wait equals to, this is the wait time to get a response back from the server. And now we just need to paste in our link which is this thing right over here. I need to provide the link of the website, which I'd want to clone into my local host. So this is the link to my website, okay? And this mirror thing, what it will do, it will go deep into your website and fetch all CSS, HTML and everything. And then this will convert our all links. And I already told you this is like for the server response time. Okay, we need to wait until we get a response back from our server. So that's pretty much it. I now will just simply click enter. All right, so you see that it's connected. So it's like going to the file, which is like index.html. You can see right over here. Now it will take some time because this will fetch the whole website data, like the images, like the content, everything which is available here. It will fetch all the data and then save with us. So this is how this thing will work. So I'll just wait for a while to see whether it's done or not. So all right, so you can see that our website clone has been completed. It just took me like about uh, five to six minutes. So 
it just grabbed all the information from the link that we provided it and it cloned that data inside of our folder you can see a right over here okay so if i just go to my folder so this is the folder so it cloned all the data inside of this folder all right so you can see that i've just opened up my index.html file that was available inside of my folder and you see that our website is successfully being cloned okay so this is the index page of my website which is cloned you can see right over here like this look exactly the same as it was looking on the uh, live website if I just move on to the courses, so yeah, courses page is also there. If I just move on to the exams, so this is our exams page, you can see right over here. If I just move on to the blog, our blog page is also here. If I just move on to the contact us page, you can see that contact us page is also here, okay? And if I just move on to the login, so this is the login and this is the register page. So our complete website has been cloned successfully by using the CMD and our extension. So that marks the end of our this video. I hope you liked this one. Thank you so much for watching and I shall catch you up in some other one. Till then, have a good day. Bye.